So I just finished up a lesson with Mark, and I got to tell you, it's, it's pretty crazy. We literally added 20 yards to the driver by just simply changing his pivot. Uh, I'm going to show you what we did because I think it could actually help a lot of you out there watching this video add some distance to your driver. I'm PGA teaching professional Todd Cope, director of instruction for US Golf TV and the Sanford Power Golf Academy. And uh, this experience that I had here today with Mark on wanting to add more distance to his driver. I mean, <laughs> we all want to add more distance to our driver, right? Uh, was, was pretty incredible. And the tip that I gave him and the suggestion that we talked about was quite simple. It really had to do with this pivot. So I'm going to dive right into this because I want to share it with you because I think it's going to really, really help you out. So what did we do today uh, with Mark? Well, the first thing is, is that he had a pretty solid swing already. His grip was good, you know, setup and stuff was good. But he had been told, he had been told to have more of what we call a centered pivot. And what does that mean? Well, a centered pivot, think of weight on your feet, right? You got some weight on your lead foot, you got some weight on your trail foot. All right, when I have a centered pivot, the weight doesn't really move much from left to right. It kind of stays relatively centered, all right? So as an example, let me just show you real quick. So I'm gonna try to go basically like 50%, 50%. This is what Mark was doing, he was 50-50. And he turned, okay, he did turn his body, but his pressure didn't move at all. I call it a center pivot. So he turned, but it was very centered. All right, now, I'm not saying that's bad or good or, you know, whatever. There's, I, my, matter of fact, I think for irons, it's probably good. But one of the things that a lot of uh, golfers don't understand, and maybe even coaches at time, is, is that the movement of pressure from side to side, okay, can actually increase club head speed without necessarily trying to do anything different. And let me give you an, an analogy of this. Think about when, if you're at doing any home repair stuff and you got in, and uh, you got to get something that's really tight and you can't get it off. Well, if you've ever used like a wrench, right? If, if the longer the wrench is, right? The, the pressure on that wrench can, can create more torque at the moment of contact where they're connected, right? So if I have something that's super, like if you're doing plumbing work for sake of discussion, and I'm not gonna give any plumbing advice because I'm far from being an expert on that, but you get, the, you get the point is that if I have a super short wrench and I'm trying to get something off, I gotta apply a lot of force. But if that wrench is very long and I apply that same force, the torque created at the moment of the spot where I'm trying to get something loose is much greater. Okay, so the same thing is true when you're swinging the golf. This is what I told Mark. I was giving this analogy about the wrench and stuff like that. And I said, Mark, I said, your swing is great, but you're working with a short wrench, basically, right? You're staying centered with your pivot. Not bad. He's actually was a pretty good iron player, but he had no distance. So here's what we did. I want to show Let me tee up another ball here. Now, if you haven't already, hey, do me a favor, subscribe to our channel. US Golf TV, if you got questions, I love doing these videos for you and helping you play better golf. Ring the bell so you know when, when we got new videos coming out. And if you really want some good stuff, check out usgolftv.com because we've got all kinds of cool stuff there and join our email list. But so here's what I told Mark. I said, first of all, in your setup, give me a little bit more weight on your lead foot. Okay, I want you to feel like you got more 60% on your lead foot. Now, why are we doing that? Well, because I want his body to go through what we call an unweighting process. So if he's got weight, more weight on his lead foot, I want him to feel what it's like to push towards his trail foot. Okay, so we're changing that pivot motion. Remember, Mark had 50-50, and he turned, but he stayed 50-50. Good contact, not a lot of speed. So I said, all right, Mark, give me more weight on lead foot, push it towards trail foot. So that's the first thing we did. And then I'm gonna show you some other stuff we did. I'll give you, a, I'm gonna show you the drill we did at the very end that really helped. So you got set in here, didn't change anything for the setup. Said, so give me some weight forward. And instinctively as an athlete, he moved to the right, rotated and boom, we picked up probably eight to 10 yards in a matter of like one or two balls. It was crazy. So that's the first thing I told him. Now. But I wanted to give him a couple of drills that he could do to exaggerate and feel that. So here's what we did. It's crazy. Works, I mean, this works every single, this is very common. This is a very common thing I see. If, you're, if you hit your irons pretty well, maybe even your hybrid, stuff off the ground basically, hit them pretty well, but your driver, you just don't, you don't have the speed that you feel like you have or should have. This could be a big reason why. So here's a couple of the drills we did. The first one is I said, all right, take your regular setup. And what I want you to do is take your lead foot, move it back towards your trail foot, okay, elevate the club, 
backswing, and step forward. So let me go through that again. Regular setup, lead foot, back towards trail foot, swing it up, step forward. Now, you can see where we're going with that. What's happening when I step forward? What's happening is I'm moving pressure. I got all my pressure on my trail foot, and I'm moving that pressure towards my lead foot. I'm taking that wrench, and I'm making it bigger. And then I'd have him hit a couple shots. That went pretty well. We picked up about another four or five yards. So now we're looking at probably 15 yards. We did a little bit with the setup. 60, push to the trail, that gave us some. We did a few of these drills, so his body's picking it up. Now, and at no moment in this time, so what's crazy about this, is did I ask him to swing harder or faster? He just started to naturally do that because he was moving his pressure. All right, so the third one that I gave him, and I'd be curious to see if, try these drills out and let me know if they work for you, okay? Or maybe you've got a drill that's worked better for you than the one I'm giving you, and maybe you can help our fellow golfers. Put that in the comments. So the other one that I did was the reverse of that. Now this one is more challenging, okay? So it takes a little bit of time. Don't get frustrated. It takes a little bit of time. So I said, take your regular setup. This time we took the trail foot and we moved it towards the lead foot. And I said, all right, now make a backswing and step and then finish it. Okay, so let me do it again. Regular setup, trail foot towards lead foot, swing. Okay, and boom, picked up another four or five yards. So what we've done in that process is we've attacked it in three different ways. Setup, let's start left so we can unweight and move right. Okay, got it. Eight, 10 yards. Let's learn to, okay, get all of our weight on our trail foot and step forward. Okay, that's shifting. And then let's do the opposite of that. Let's learn to load. And in a matter of those couple swings right there, we probably did, I don't know, 15 swings. You know, we had some practice swings in there. And boom, we started added literally 15 or 20 yards. So back here, we get set in. When you want to add speed, you got to move pressure. You don't want to stay centered. Matter of fact, there are some people who teach staying almost le full left side. Okay, that's for another video. We'll talk about that at another time. So take your regular setup, get a little bit of weight on your lead foot, okay? Move it towards the trail foot, move it towards the lead foot. And if you do those three things right there, you're definitely, hopefully, you're going to add more distance to your driver, just like my friend Mark did.